Hi, today I thought I'd share with you um, something a little different. I just recently bought this mystery beauty box, this mystery makeup box, and I bought it on Amazon Prime, and it took a couple days, and I just got it today. Um, Easter Sunday was delivered, and I'm just so happy with it, so I thought I'd just real quick get on the computer and film um, sort of the products that I got in case anyone else happens to see this video <laughs> and would be interested in maybe trying this out. So again, the brand... The brand is called You Can Be. I've never heard of them before, but I had gone on Amazon. I was just looking for some relatively inexpensive but well-reviewed eye palettes, eyeshadow palettes, and that's where I came across this mystery box. I noticed, you know, all their stuff that they have on Amazon, all the products that they have, you know, they have a full range of makeup stuff. It seems like they're, for the most part, pretty well-reviewed. They're also, they say that they're cruelty-free, and that was a big thing for me too so you know cruelty free it was well reviewed um, and based on the reviews of this mystery box most people said you know you get quite a bit of product for the price and it's pretty decent product so I thought why why the heck not <laughs> let's just try it and see and um, so like I like I said I, I just got this today probably about an hour ago and I had a chance to open it and look at all the products and I'm real happy with it so I'll show you what all I got um, it came with one two one, two, three, four eyeshadow palettes, and that was the main thing that I wanted, so I'll show those first. But it came with eyeshadow palettes, it came with um, a couple of lipsticks, um, some foundations, some eyeliner products, some glitter, you know, just sort of a nice range of things. So first thing I'll share with you that, I, that came in this box is the eyeshadow palettes. And the first one is called Nude, Nude Eye. I like the packaging. Um, like the plastic insert has a picture of, you know, the lady that's on the front of the box. I thought that was kind of neat. But here are the um, shades in this palette. I really love all of these shades. Um, now they don't look some of the some of the squares don't look pristine because I did take a Q-tip to swatch so that I could kind of get an idea of how pigmented they are. But um, yeah, the few that I swatched, they seem to be pretty nicely pigmented. I mean, again, for such an inexpensive price, I feel like they they look they look pretty good. And I like the names of the colors too. They're like Spanked, Love Bite, Fantasy, Tease, Secret, Dare, Teddy. <laughs> I just like the names. That's kind of fun. I'm a sucker for packaging. Always have been. But again, so um, the pigment seems to be pretty well. Um, pretty pretty good and it was smooth you know again I hadn't put it on my eyes yet I just used the q-tip and put it on my my wrist but I feel like this is from pretty good quality and I just love the very um, the various um, colors and shades that they have there the next one the next eyeshadow palette, palette that came in this box I think I mentioned the price I don't know if I did but it's $34.99 so it's a $35 box so it included all these things I'm going to share with you today um, the next one is called Supreme Femme, <laughs> and here's what the shadows look like. I like this one too. I haven't swatched any of these, but I'm I'm just assuming that they're the, the the same you know good quality as as the other one that I tried out. I love that yellow. That's that's different. I've never worn any shade like that, but I think I could make some fun looks out of this palette. So different finishes. There's some mattes. There's some shimmers and glitters in there really pretty and then the next one is called peach dream and I really like this one this this is what that this is what it looks like peach dream and here's what the colors look like now I guess you don't really know what palettes and what colors you're gonna get or even what products you're gonna get in this mystery box so um, but this is this happens to be what I got when I when I was sent mine. I like the names of the uh, I like the names of the shades too. I think they're cute. They seem like they all have to do with food, like streusel, tart, trifle, crumble, sorbet. <laughs> but nice peachy tones. I'll, I'll enjoy using these. And then the last one, the last palette that came in the the mystery box is called Miss Rose or Miss Rose. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But um, this one is also a good one. This is a little bit different colors. 
but I like it. These are like dusty, like like more subdued collars. Um, I do notice that it looks like they seem to have collars that are very similar to each other, but that's okay. I still feel like, based on all the palettes that I got, I got a really good deal, so I'm not going to complain about that. That's a pretty shade down there. So that's the last eyeshadow palette that I got. And then, let's see, next I received two lipsticks. And when I first opened up the package, I thought, I was a little disappointed because I thought that these lipsticks looked almost identical to each other. This is what the package looks like. And I thought, oh, why would they send two lipsticks that pretty much look the same? But they're very, very different. And I absolutely love both of them. So one is called Maple. So this one's called Maple. And this one's called vintage and I'll swatch them on my arm so you can see the difference now I'm wearing maple right now um, and it's very sheer it's a sheer pretty a little bit shimmery Put a little bit more on you can build it to be darker but I kind of like the sheerness of it but um so this one is a nice sheer shade and again it's called maple and it's so creamy and it, it's so moisturizing. It feels good on the lips. I think the shade is really pretty. Like I said, it feels really good on, on the lips. I love the packaging too. It's um, I've never had a lipstick container that did this, but it's like magnetic. It's actually a little bit heavy even, but it's got this magnetic, um, some magnets right there. So it just like goes like that. So the lid just sort of pops on mag with the magnet. I thought that was kind of neat. This next shade, I wouldn't wear this. This is like a, for me, just for me, this would be like a statement lipstick that I would wear on a special occasion, but I don't have anything like it, so I'm glad to have it. It's called Vintage, and it is beautiful. It's, I, I put it on earlier. Um, it's so pigmented. Let's see if you can tell how pigmented it is. Look at that. It has so pigmented and it's just this it's this beautiful it's not too dark it's not too cool it's got just the right amount of warmth in it I feel like probably most people it would look really good on and I even felt like I looked halfway decent with red and normally I don't wear a dark lip, lipstick I stay away from that but I would definitely wear this if like on a special occasion you know date night or something like that <laughs> But so as you can see, they're very, very different shades, even though the packaging, they looked like they would be similar. So I was really happy, happy with that. And I do, I think this is a pretty shade. Uh, the next thing I got was um, some eyeliner gels. Here's, oh, I'll show you the packaging that they came in. Um, not that that really matters, but so here's the eyeliner gel package. And um, I think I showed you the lipstick packaging. Pretty gold, nice looking packaging. And then here's the lipsticks again. Just a nice. They just look, they feel so hefty. They're like a nice weight. They don't feel cheap at all. And the formula just seems so creamy and it has such good pigment. Yeah, I'm real, real happy with it. Okay, so next they have, um, a, it's soft brown. It's in the shade soft brown, and it's called Perfect Glide Eyeliner Gel. I like that it's soft brown. I can I can wear that. I don't really wear eyeliner that often, but part of the fun of having a mystery box like this is you can get items that you don't typically use and learn how to use them. <laughs> so I'll have to learn how to use eyeliner, how to put it on, and all that fun stuff. But I got a little Q-tip here, so let's just see how it's supposed to be a nice glide. Mm, I don't know. I think it'll work well. It doesn't come with an applicator, but I have brushes that I could use. I think this will look this will work real nice. I like the shade. It's a nice soft, like you know, soft brown shade. So if I figure out how to put it on, I'll have to give that a shot. But I like having it in my makeup, in my makeup bag, basically, because I don't have any, I don't have any um, right now. And then the next product uh, is called 
it's so, the names are funny because I think I don't know if it's from South Korea or China or something, but you know, so the names of some of these products are kind of funny. <laughs> this one's called Music Flower. Music Flower Eyebrow and Eyeliner Gel Long Wear. This is kind of cool. I like first off the packaging is kind of neat. It's really cute. And when you open it up, I'm do it real quick. Oops, just a minute. Here we go. It comes with a little applicator here. It's going to fall out, so I'll take that off. So it comes with a dual-ended um, applicator. And what's kind of cool is, um, so again, this can be used for eyebrows or as an eyeliner. So I'm guessing this, this side is for your eyebrows, and this side is maybe to use as an eyeliner, maybe. But I like that it has three shades that you can mix, and you can maybe mix them together if you need to, or just use one that works for you. There's a black, this is kind of like a taupe brown, and this is like a worm, maybe a teeny bit reddish brown. And you pop them open, and there's the, the gel in there. So that's, I think that's kind of cool. Like I said, I don't know how to use it, but I'll, I'll watch a YouTube tutorial and figure out how to, how to use it. I mean, I'm assuming you just, you know, you just put it on your eye, your top of your lashes. But um, I, I have plenty of, my eyebrows are thick enough. I really don't, I probably won't use it for the eyebrows, but I'll definitely try it out for the eyeliner. And then let's see, almost done. Um, I got, I love the packaging on this. This is so cute. It's called Glitter Paste. Now, oh, this is so cute. It's called Glitter Paste, and it looks like this. There's not a whole lot in there, but I mean, it's like a paste. It's not like loose glitter, because it's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's like this, this glitter paste, and it, it looks sort of like a purplish sort of glitter. Um, when I first pulled it out of the package, I thought, well, I'm just going to give it away to maybe a young person that I work with that might have fun with it. And then I thought, no, I'm going to keep it because <laughs> I could probably use it for like Halloween or costume makeup or whatever. I'll keep it. I'll use it. I'll figure out a way. <laughs> so that's that. And um, then the last few items are, um, there were two um, foundations. These are the packaging that they came in. One is like a, a dewy finish foundation, and another is a long-wearing matte finish. And so here's the, um, this is the dewy finish. Isn't that a, an adorable packaging? Isn't that cute? And this one came in the shade Nude, which actually, I got lucky. These shades work for me. I'm fair complected, so... Um, actually the, the, in this, the long wear came in a light shade too, so I'll actually be able to use these. So I'm happy enough with that. So this is, I, I put a little bit on my arm to kind of check out the finish. And this is, it's a really, it's sort of on the sheer side, but it's very dewy. It's very pretty. This long wearing matte, um, wow, I can't wait to give this a shot. It, it was very full coverage and I, like I said, I put it on my arm just to see what the coverage looked like. And then when I went to wash off the arm, it was not coming off. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to really scrub with a washcloth and soap to get it off. So this, I have a feeling this is definitely long wearing, um, you know, like it says it is. So I was excited to get that. So that was the foundations. And then the last couple things was there's a uh, makeup finishing spray. I came in this package, so just a finishing spray to hold your makeup in place, and then a little beauty blender. It came with a little little beauty blender, which I can always use. So that's it for today. This video was kind of long. I didn't expect it to be this long, but um, I just wanted to share um, what I got in this mystery box, um, and just in case anyone's interested in trying it out for themselves, I feel um, I did get lucky in that, especially the foundation shades are actually something I can wear. They're, they match my my shade um, but I also just am real tickled with the product's quality I love the lipstick quality I love the um, I love the uh, the palettes they seem to be really good quality eyeshadows so I'm real happy I'm happy with the color selection so anyway yep so it was the you can be mystery mystery box all right <laughs> so that's it for today thanks so much for watching and take care